Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Power. So in the previous video, we were talking about the basic features of Scratch. So now we will be making our simple and easy project with Scratch. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it. Subscribe to my channel and keep the bell icon to all. We can make a project using Scratch. So let me go to Scratch. I'll maximize it. This may take a while. Okay, so now I hope you all know what is the basics of uh, Scratch. So without wasting any time, I'm going to start with this project. So I do not want the cat as my sprite. So I'll delete it and I will select a sprite from the library. So I want a bird. So you can also go to animals and then select bird. But I would like to search, uh, search it in the search bar. So bird. So we have six options. So you can choose a duck or an owl or a penguin. But I would like to choose a parrot because I like parrot. Okay, now I have to choose a parrot. I want the parrot size to be a bit low. I have told you where to change the size. It's in the size option. So this is 100. Let me change into 70. Yes, I want the parrot to be in this size. So I want the parrot to start from this position. So I have told you where to see the coordinates, the X and the Y. So this is the X position and this is the Y position. The X is minus 2, 7 and the Y is minus 7. So now go, I, I have told you that we have to go to events. If you want to start a project, we have to always start with events because this is the way you uh, do this is the way you bring up your logical thinking and you make the project. So I have to take this when flag is clicked. I uh, when flag is clicked. I hope you all are thinking where is this flag? So the flag is just above the output box. Here you can see this uh, flag, the green color flag that indicates start, and the red color uh, button indicates stop. Okay. So this is the logic when flag is clicked, I want the bird to go to this position that is position minus 207 and y is minus 7. So we have to go to motion because motion is a place where you can change the position of any character. So let me take go to x and y position and as you can see the y, x and y position are similar here from here as well as here. So let us leave it like that. Now the logic is when the flag is clicked, the bird moves to this position. So let us try this simple project, I guess. Okay, so I have kept the bird here. When I click flag, the bird comes to this position. That is X is minus 2 on uh, 207 and Y is minus 7. So I want the, as, you, I, as I told before in the costumes, each and every character has two different costumes. In this parrot, the parrot A is um, the wings is up and the parrot B in the wings is uh, down. I hope there is no difference other than the wings. So let me go to code. Go to looks because looks is the area where you can change the appearance. So let me select switch costume 2 and then select parrot B because I want the parrot to have its wings upside so let us try this by clicking the flag the bird's wing is up so till now i think this is all correct so let us move on now i want the bird to repeat some action i want the bird to repeat some action so to, if i want the bird to repeat something i need to go to control panel so let me take this repeat for 10 times option we can change the turn i can change the turn into 20 maybe but i would like it to be 10. So let it be 10. I What do I want to uh, repeat 10 times? I want to repeat 10 times. That is, I want the bird to move from this place to position B. So to move a thing, I need to go to motion. 
So let me take move 10 steps option and put it inside the repeat box because if I put it somewhere else, the bird won't understand what to repeat. So let me put it inside the repeat box and I want the bird to move 30 steps maybe, 30 steps. So if I uh, start, if I place this now, like if I start it, just see what happens. The bird just moved. Yes, I wanted this, but I wanted the bird to fly, not to move. I want the bird to flap its wings and then fly. To do that, I need to uh, take, go to the costumes again. So here the bird uh, wings is up. The bird, uh, the second uh, bird wings is down. The bird actually does not really fly, but I can make you all to see that the bird is really flying, but it does not really fly. So let us go to code. And then to change its appearance, we need to go to looks. So let me take this switch costume to because this, this is a costume. This is one of the costume. So I want the bird to switch its costume to parrot V and parrot E. I can name the parrot different. So let me give up because um, the parrot swings is up. And let me give this parent, uh, parent B like down. Okay. So like down. You can change the uh, name of the costume here. So I have given up and down. So now let us go here and switch costume to up. I do not want it to be uh, down now. I want it to be up. And I need the bird to wait for a second in, uh, in switch. After switching costume to up. I want the bird to wait for a second. To wait for a second, we need to go to control panel and uh, drag this wait one second below the switch costume to up, but between the between the repeat ten times option. When I just uh, start, when I click the go option, just see what happens. The bird is moving. The buff, the wings are not uh, flapping. But it is waiting one second. So this one second is too long. I do not want it to wait one second. Let me give 0 0.2 second. And then I want the bird to flap its wings. So let me go to looks again. Take the switch costume 2 and drag and drop it between the repeat option and under the wait 0 0.2 seconds and change it to down now. Okay. So let me change this to down. So now let us see what happens. As you can see, the our bird is flying and it's flapping its wings and moving from place to place. The real logic, what is happening is the in in between the repeat option, uh, repeat option, the bird is actually moving 10, uh, 30 steps. It is uh, making its wings fly up. Wait for a second, down, and then after making the wings down it's again going and repeating the same thing again see I hope uh, you can understand this so let me show you the, uh, what is the program once again okay so I want this to make it a bit more prettier so let me go and choose for background and for choosing background I have told you that to choose background you need to go here and uh, there's already a background library. If you want, you can go and search here and scroll down and search. But I do not want to do all those things. I will go to search and I want a blue sky. So let me type blue sky. I have two options. I would like this with oh, sand, with grass and the blue sky. So let me take that. It's already looking so much prettier. So let us start the program. The bird is flying. Let me give a closer look at the program. If you want to make the uh, output screen much bigger, you need to just go here and uh, full screen control. If you click it, you can see the program much bigger. And let me click start. The bird is flying. <laughs> 